Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Sunday. Hope you are all having a wonderful weekend. Get your coffee, get your tea, get ready, and we're going to paint and add some bling. So, today's video, we are going to make this one, which I tried to make before, and I, the video, I could probably post it, but I thought I would redo it. I'm going to do... This is a Cricut um, print off. And with that being said, we'll go through everything once I bring you down. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hello, we are all back. I have a, I went smaller with this one. I have a 10 by 20 inch, those um, value packs from Michaels. I have it prepped. I've got my tape. I've got my push pins and we're ready to go. Now I have this printed off of my Cricut machine. I will link where I purchased it in my off of Etsy and the measurements are from tip to tip. It is four inches from the tip of the umbrella to the other tip and then from the um, the little point on the umbrella down to the feet is six and a half. So it is four inches wide, four inches wide, six and a half inches long. With that, I did all my weeding. It's all ready to go. So I just have to pull it off like this. But with this, you want to cover a piece so that when you do your swipe, you're not going to have paint behind where this is going to go. So what I did is I just took a piece of Mac Tac, dollar store Mac Tac, if I can find the roll. And I just, what I did was I traced out, held it up to the, you can kind of see it, held it up to the, the window and I traced around the umbrella. Then I took a ruler and I measured straight down. So this I'm going to place on my canvas first because I want my couple to be in this area. So I just want to make sure it's long enough and it's like that. Perfect. So I'm going to, I like everything off centered because I'm an off, I'm an oddball. So I'm going to remove the backing off of this Mac tack and we're just going to place it where I would like my umbrella. And this is the important part. You need to make sure the edges are not are, are stuck in sorry my brain's not working today it doesn't work every day so i'm just taking my i don't have my little um varnisher down here actually it is down here but we'll just use this and make sure the edges are good if you get stuff on there this got stuff on it don't matter really want it to stick. I'm going to flip it upside down and do this. Because you don't want it to bleed. You want it to be blank. So I think that's pretty good. I want to show you something. Remember on my other video where I was saying, I don't know if you can see the difference in color. This is what um, your canvas looks like without being primed. You see the difference? It's like a little bit of a, like a tea stained. It's like very, very faint, but yeah. I just noticed that when I was flipped it over. So anyways, so with that being said, now we are going to have fun. 
with the with this one I did it backwards um, I should have had the couple down here so that all of this was flowing and the black was on the bottom so either way it looks nice but that's what I'm gonna do with this one so my black is gonna start down here I'm gonna put you this way so we're gonna do it upside down because when you swipe you want to swipe like this okay and I've chosen so many colors um, I'm leaving a bit here at the top so what I'm gonna try and do is I'm not even gonna come close to the black is gonna come up here and I'm gonna try to not get as much around the edges so I don't have so we're gonna go with the blues and the greens today so I pulled out and you know what some of these do not have a name on them these are I'm literally saying these are two and a half years old in a bottle so some of them the label has worn off so it's gonna give them a quick little shake shake and you can swipe with any color. You could swipe with red, you could swipe with blue, you could swipe with orange, you could swipe any color you want. It don't matter. Oh, I should bring you down a little more because you're not in the frame. I had you in the frame the other way. Sorry guys, you want to see all of my mistakes, not just some of them. Bring you up and <laughs> bring you down. There we go. Now you're all in there. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to leave that up there for black. And I don't know. I'm just going to throw. There's some of these that are almost empty. So we're going to do, try to do blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. And I got yellow. So if the name is on the paint, I will tell you what the color is. But you can, any color, it don't matter. And these ones have silicone oil in. I want to use them up because I really do not like using the silicone oil because you do have to wash after. If you want to put a coat of resin or if you want to put um, some varnish on top, you will have to wash the canvas. And I, I got away from doing it because that was just to me another step that you have to do. So once these are all dry, we're going to do a bling part on it. So I will um, show you how to clean them, okay? So that's gonna come later. All right, so we're gonna start with Liquidex Basics Turquoise Blue. And all I'm doing is laying stripes down. No rhyme, no reason. And you wanna make sure you get over the edges because you want your edges. See, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna go, sorry, my black is in the way. All right, and I'm gonna probably do this a couple times because you want it to. All right, we'll get rid of this. This is Deco Art Turquoise. It'll come out because it is more or less empty. Ah, don't tell me I'm gonna get a half a row. There we go. We got a blob, so that's good. That's all we need, a blob. Um, we will do, this is, oh, if I can read it, Artislav Metallic Blue. And like I said, you wanna get the sides. All right, so this one is empty. So we're gonna go this, this, and then we will do, this one is, oh, my favorite, Pebio Studio Iridescent Blue, Iridescent Green Yellow. See, I had an obsession even before I realized I had an obsession. And you know what, if there's some little spots missing, it, it really does not matter because I want to make sure though my edges are going. 
as I'm going because that was what happened with the other one. I didn't have the edges quite right. All right, perfect. There. We will do this Artist Loft light blue. My intro wasn't quite as chitty chatty as I normally am. I wanted to get right at this because this is going to probably take a little bit because um, it has to dry. I've got to remove this. So I'm going to paint underneath that like I did the other one and um, possibly add some bling to it. So we're going to see. Oh my goodness, this one has got a clog. Ah, I don't know if you heard that. It farted. Okay, this one is a no name. <laughs> it's green. And like I said, any color you have. Um, basically, this is the same as my Dutch pour mix, but I add silicone. That was the other thing I was going to mention. Um, this is Artist Lop Brilliant Yellow. We'll throw one in down here. Oh, again, we got some goops in there. Oh, hopefully it'll squeeze out. Come on. There. Get it started. There we go. Like I said, I'm not too worried about the gaps in the middle because that will be taken care of when you drag the paint all down. It's just going to come over top of each other. So this one is Folk Art Apple Orchard. I suppose I should have done a blue. Now we are going to use, this one is Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. Oh my goodness, they all, like I said, these are a couple years old. There we go. And we will do, I don't know if you can see this one, Artist Loft Thalo Green. We will just make this go right across. And perfecto. I'm going to make sure my sides are good as we're going so it doesn't become a mud if you try to fix it later. There we go. And we will do this. This one is Ultramarine Blue by Artist Loft. And again, you don't need to do this many colors. You can just do like four colors and rotate it. All right, how do we do that? That and then that. And we'll do this Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And then we're gonna, oh, they keep getting all these little plop, all these little flecks from one because it's not, there we go. And again, you wanna make sure the sides are good. Even though there's a gap in the middle here, just tap it so the sides are good. All right. I want to throw in, I wonder if I've got a, a silver mixed up. Give me one second. I think I do. I think I do. We'll throw a silver in here. Artist Loft Silver. Okay, now I'm going to start again. 
we will start with the same ones. So I'm not going to go through the names again. We're just going to start going. And I'm going to switch sides. We're going to go that way. And then halfway down, like about here, I'm going to throw black in because it's a longer canvas and you want it to touch up as we're going. You want it to um, keep the black going so that you have that nice, um, it's almost like a lacing it makes. All right, here we go. This one is the green. It's just so funny how I've got that mixed up in here. Oh my goodness. There's lots in there, but it doesn't want to come out. I just want to get the side. There we go. And we'll do this blue. And then I'll do the... Touch up as we're going. And I'm going to do one little line of black. And usually when you swipe, you either put the silicone in the swipe color or, oops, sorry guys, there's something up there. Either it is in the swipe color and not in these or in these and not the swipe. Um, that's what I used to do anyways. All right, let's go. We will do this green. Quick, quick, quick. I just don't want that to um, be able to get underneath. And yellow. Underneath this. So the quicker I go, the less I tack. didn't get a blue in the middle there but that's all right and I'll do the silver and even so if it doesn't come to the end oh I mixed that one up I should have put the green in there we'll put the green this way we'll push it in there we go. And we're just going to do another layer just to get to the end. Seriously. Why, oh why? Poked it in, hopefully. There. Mama needs that green. She loves that green. All right, let's do this light blue. Um, we'll do yellow one more time. We will do this. Cobalt blue, maybe there we go. And I didn't fix up the sides for a while, so we're gonna come back, just tap it in like. The paper towel, depending on how wide you use it, a lot of times will come down and give you that effect on the sides as well. There we go. Just get that off the bottom. 
Perfect. Now we will do another silver. Whoops. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna use my finger. We got a lot there. And like I said, when you drag this down, all of that's gonna come off. So uh, let's see, we're gonna put just uh, another green, just in case we need something there. All right, I'm gonna move these all out of the way. And that. Now at the top, we're gonna use black. Oh, middle, middle, middle. I'm gonna put a black here. Just cause you need the black to swipe there. And you need black up here. And you want quite a bit of it. So it'll carry down. Now I'm gonna make sure it is on the corners. And you want a lot there because your paper towel will soak up. Now I have taken just normal paper towel. I've got it folded in half. I am going to spray it with just water. Is that a lump in there? That so is. We're going to get that out of there. Spray it with water just on the end. If I can get my bottle to work. Just so you can make a connection. I do an accordion style. You can see me there. Okay. Just to, so you have better control of it and you want it to hit the edge. Make sure you have, I'm going to flip it this way because I think my accordion will be better this way. If you want it, now let me get this side wet as well. I'm sorry. You want to make sure it adheres. So when you put it down, I hope you can see. Yes. Okay. When you put it down, even it out, let it sink in and absorb. And then here we go. We're just going to pull. And let's see if we can get this on the edges. There we go. And then let it drag down. And voila, is that not gorgeous? And that is garbage. So here, it don't matter. That is where our plastic is. So look at the cells. You get an amazing effect, but to be honest, like I said, I just, the, um, just touching up my sides the um because i didn't put i didn't fix the ends here um i forgot where i was going yeah to me i don't know the what you get from the cells you get that i've learned with just the floater on the water with the dutch pours you get the cells you bring out the torch so I, that's why i got away from using the silicone that's what I was trying to get at. Now down here, I'm just gonna make sure there's all black down where I've got black. Whoops. There. If you want, you can tilt it and bring it down so you run that black off. But then your um, your cells will distort. So. It's whatever you want to do. I'm going to personally leave it. So with that being said, I will try to put all these in there. You do not need all of them in there. Just use whatever you have. You've got just, you know, go with a color scheme. I love this color scheme. It looks actually quite nice, the blues. So this one, I just did blues, greens. I put my silver in there and I put my yellow in there. So it looks like a beautiful rain. 
So when we um, do our bling bling, I can, you know, put some broken glass just down, some glitter. So yeah, so we're gonna let this sit for a day or two and we will come back with some removing that. I may paint in there. The other one I did, I did not, but I kind of like the idea of having like a sunset behind them because, you know, it's raining and it's not nice, but they're in love and it's, uh, you know, how that is. All that gooey, gooey stuff. So anyways, I'm going to love you, leave you. We're going to let this dry and I will see you guys in a couple days. Hello, we are back. We are all dry. Like, look at that, how that turned out. Is that not cool? So this is where we put the piece of Mac Tac. We're gonna pull it off. And of course it bled, which is fine. Oh, we lost our little dimple for the umbrella, but that's fine. There we go. Woohoo! Done. So this is what we got. Oh, well, good, you're all in there. I'm going to put the happy couple in here. But I'm thinking that I might do the colors behind. I don't know. That or you have to paint it white. And I think it would be harder to paint all that white. So, with that being said. Oh, it is there, it just broke off. Uh, that, there we go. So with that being said, I have my three paints. I'm gonna bring it this way so I can, you still see? Okay, I'm gonna bring it up so you can see it better. I got, these are all Liquid X Basics. I have Cadmium Yellow Hue. I have Cadmium Red Deep Hue. And I have Cadmium Light, Light, a Red Light Hue. That looks orange to me, but that's fine. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get a plate. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of my what I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna put it on I started off with the yellow and worked up to the red so what I might do is just put it down I'm a rebel orange oops a duper that might be too much we can scrape it off and red. I'm going to get a brush. Doot. Do, 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 do. Got this brush. And we're just going to paint. When you're going to the edge, you're going to get that black down there. Take your brush, make sure it's flat, and then just push it in. And you should get a clean line. And you have a lip there, so. And the other thing is, we're gonna bling this up. I'm gonna put this sideways a little bit. I'm gonna do something with silver glitter as rain. So maybe we can put some, um, this up here, I'm not worried because that's gonna be covered. So it's just down here and on the bottom. So maybe we could do some broken glass to cover up if this doesn't quite take. And I don't wanna do like six coats because I'm an impatient gal. go and 
and you can once you do it you can come down this way and because you've got a little bit of that blood over you could just wipe it off with a piece of a q-tip all right here we go I'm just trying to spread this out and then we're going to blend on the end Everyone's having a wonderful Sunday. I can't believe it's February. Where has the time gone? That's more paint than I need. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm grab a piece of paper towel, and I'm just gonna wipe off the excess. There we go. Bring it up to where I got the red there. And do again. And then we want to blend down here. Wipe it off and then just come in and even it up. See, I think it's nice that there's the color. You know, the love, the lovely couple are in love, so we're gonna have a little. It's gonna make sure that's all off there. I'm making a mess of my brush. <laughs> Too funny. Come back down here. And then I'm just going to go one way. Now, the red. And again, that's a lot, so I'm going to take that off. I knew as soon as I gobbed it on there that that was too much. And again, we'll go flat. It's kind of hard. It's a circle, but this here, I'm not overly worried because it's going to be covered. Oops, just make sure you don't go over like I just did. lot of that off. I'm going to pull out my q-tip because got a little bit that went over up here. So this one, I did the video. It's all done. I probably could put the video up of the other one, but it was just everything I went to do, which, well, you guys watch me. This, you should know my channel by now. It's the trials and errors and tribulations of Sherry Moulton Art. Everything I went to do just did not work. And you want to bring this, some of this red down. Because again, remember I said, like from right here, that upper part's going to be covered with the umbrella. I'm going over and I'm going to come back with my there. I think that's good. I really went over here. quickly with the q-tip and we're gonna let this completely dry 
because you can't put, I guess I'm using a few Q-tips, you can't put, um, and I'm just wetting it a little bit. There we go. Because you can't put your happy couple on top until it is dry. So I'm just going to come up here. There's a little bit here. I would say you could put alcohol, but I don't want to do anything to your actual painting itself. I don't want to tell you to do something and then it, you'll be texting me, oh my gosh, you made me ruin it. And yes, I put the Q-tip in my mouth to wet it. <laughs> you all have a little piece of me if this gets sold. Too funny. Now down here, I'm just going to... Actually, it went over a little bit down here. Um, if you're that, you can come back and give it a black paint down the back end. So with that, my beautiful people, we're gonna let my sunny background for my happy couple, um, I'm gonna let that dry and we will come back. So yeah, so this is what, I like the colors in this one and the colors in this one I was crazy. I think I might have put, I still use quite a few colors in that one. But this one, I had pinks and purples. I had every color because I was trying to use up those paints. But let me know if you like it at the bottom, top, sorry, or at the bottom. Because I flipped it around. Actually, I think I like it more at the bottom because you see the whole couple. You'll see the whole couple here too. So it's not like I guess, because here, let me see. I'll do a sneaky. With my luck, it'll stick. So this is what's gonna happen. Oh, you can't, uh, there we go. That's what's gonna happen. I'm excited. Alrighty, with that being said, I'm gonna love you, leave you, let it dry, and we will come back to put on the, the happy couple. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. We are all dry. Now, I'm gonna give this a wipe. This was why I didn't like doing the silicone oil because I don't really see any, apparently, well, it's shiny because it's got, it's all um, metallic-y paint too. But what I'm gonna do, I've, watch videos I will link um, a video in their description box to show you how to properly do it if you're serious about doing all of this they suggest that you wait two to three weeks for this to fully fully cure and the reason for that is so that when you do wash it you do not wash off what you paint it now if there's a little bit of paint coming off and it doesn't distort your painting, I'm content with going ahead with that. I'm a rubble, so with that being said, this has only been three days since this has been painted. So to me, it's dry. I don't, like the way you can look and see, I don't really see any oily spots on here. So what I'm gonna do, some people use dish soap and water and actually wash it. Think about it as if you had oil on your spoon, oil on your dishes, you wash it. So with that being said, you could use that. You could use um, a combination of Windex and alcohol. You can use baby wipes. I do not have baby wipes. I have these Lysol wipes. So I'm gonna be, like I said, you're gonna live and learn with me. 
I'm going to be a rebel and I'm just going to wash it with a Lysol wipe because in my head, it's scary if you want to be in my head, but in my head, <laughs> my thoughts would be is I am going to wash it, let it dry. I'm going to adhere my lovely couple down here and I'm going to put a coat of um, Liquid X Professional Gloss Varnish. I'm going to put a thin coat over the whole piece because I personally would love to put resin on top because it would it would fill in the gap of the differentiated because there is like a little bit of a lip here. I don't know if you can see it through the thing, but there is a little lip. And then once you put this decal on, there's going to be lips there. So I'm not sure if it's actually going to, this is going to actually cover it really, really well. And it'll also bring up if there's any oil spots. I would rather use this than put a whole coat of resin on. So we're, this is going to be a process for some reason. So this is why I got away from the oil. So, all right, here we go. My Lysol wipe. We're just going to rub it rub it i'm getting a little bit but you know what i'm again content with a little bit it's not distorting my painting but you do want to rub it so i'm just going in and get the sides because you want to make sure that you're not going to have any little spots. And if any of you know why the difference between a baby wipe and a Lysol wipe, I get the chemical aspect. But to me, I don't see a difference. I'm just going to see now my cloth is dirty, but look, it hasn't done anything to my painting. So I'm just going to get the edges because nothing's worse. I've had it done. I used to do coasters. I'm going to do a, a video with coasters because I used to do them all with um, the ceramic tiles. And I was doing this method, doing nice, beautiful swipes. But there we go. I didn't get the black. Let me just get down here and do the black. Don't need to do this because that was just paint. So, um, yes, so I was doing the um, swipes with the coasters. And, yeah, like I said, you had to clean everything. And I was living and learning not in a good way. I would put my coat of resin on, and I'm putting like three coats of resin because it isn't sticking. So, um, like I said, that's why I got away from using the, the ink. I'm going to pull out my blow dryer because I'm impatient. And it's not wet, but I just want to take out the dampness. Perfect. Woo -woo, perfect. Now, like I said, it's dirty, but you know what? It It's really a little bit of the greens that were in here and I think most of it's the black. Alrighty, so with that, we are going to put on our lovely happy couple. And I think we're gonna use some of, oh, we're gonna use some of Laura's Art Glitter in this. Now, I lost my little nib. You can kind of see a little bit there. But my main focus is to make sure that you cover up that line that is here. Okay, here it don't matter because in my brain I am going to bring down a, um, a heavier little bit like this with glitter. Now, let's see if I can get in here. Sorry, I don't mean to up. I kind of want it to match up, down. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm going to bring it down this way just a tad because it's off on this end, but not that end. This is going to be the probably the maybe the heart oh no I want to come up that way the hardest part is putting this on without oh there I think I think we have it perfect now we're gonna I know this looks awful down here but we can touch that up too where oh where did I put oh here it is we're gonna use this scraper and we're gonna make sure that this is on. We can even put some broken glass down on the bottom so it looks like a puddle. It's endless, my friends. Okay, stay. Oh my goodness. This is what was going on the first time. And as I was pulling it off, it was um, lifting up in the middle, which was not impressing me in the least. So you kind of want to be careful and hold it. Now rub, and there's, it's hard because there's not much in the middle. Oh good, the hair sticking, oh my goodness, that would be my, that was the only other part I was worried about, was if the hair, because it's all little wee pieces, was going to stick. Everything else should come pretty good. It's always good when a plan comes together. Now, we want to get the edge here. Oh, it lifting. See, and this is what it was doing with me. It was kept lifting. Maybe I gotta come at it from a different angle. They say rip the band-aid off it's doing what it was doing before it's kind of lifting as I am pulling so I'm trying to rub it as soon as it comes off and that way it's not gonna pull up and make a big mess where I can't fix it there we go and we have a happy couple. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. And I like the idea of putting like the sunset sort of behind them. So with that, I'm going to just keep on rubbing just to get it in there because I'm going to do a coat of my... And this you can reuse. Put it back on make sure it's on the shiny side of your paper and it can be used another time it's not on completely right that's fine 
All right, I'm gonna just do my Liquitex Basics. I'm gonna use a foam brush and I'm just gonna pour it on. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm just gonna do like this. And hopefully you want to work quick because you don't want it to dry in one spot and you want to try not to go over the one spot too many times if that makes any sense I wish I had a wider brush and what I've learned is with resin, if there's any little imperfection, it will fix it. Get your sides, because you want to make sure that everything is covered. And the good thing with this, this kind of dries quick, I found. All right, let's just go one way. And like I said, we just want this thin coat just so we can see if the oil is not there and we can put on a coat of resin. Again, this is colored here, but like I said, we're going to bling it up. So we can put little blings where our imperfections are. Let me just that. Okay, we're gonna let this dry. Give it a good half hour or so. And then I'll come back with a second coat and we'll go this way. And like I said, if there's streaky marks here, like I can see lines on my couple. When I put my resin on, it's gonna disappear. So I'm gonna let that dry. We're gonna come back. We'll do a second coat and we'll brush it this way and I'm hoping I can put resin on this later today. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. I have um, did my calculator on um, Art Resin. Art Resin? They have a calculator. Anyways, I put in my 20 by 10 and it come up with seven ounces, but I went down to six and my resin of choice is crystal resin. It is a two-part epoxy. Um, I was I was sharing a link, but it is now in Amazon, so I have put them. There is a Canadian link. I'm not sure what's up, but the American link is not up yet. I have a link, but I it's not actually in the store. Um, so yeah. With that being said. Um, if you want to go on their website still, it is free shipping in Canada and all that fun stuff. So I, it is dry and I do not see one little spot that it had not taken. So with that being said, I am just going to put a coat of resin. I was going to put, um, Laura's art glitter. I was going to put it in the whole top coat but I do not want it in here I'm gonna go on the edges with glitter and glass to, uh, to help cover up that as well but I didn't want it on the actual couple themselves so we're just gonna do a clear coat on the top of resin I'm gonna let that sit for 24 hours or more and then come back and we will embellish I'm thinking I might use some of my Swarovski flatbacks as actual raindrops. So we're gonna see. I have all kinds in that little box that I showed you guys the other day. These are all flatbacks, different sizes. So that might be what happens, or I might just do the broken glass and glitter. So we're gonna we'll deal with that on the day it happens. So here we go. I with my I'm gonna go through this every time. When I mix my resin, I did use my this is a ventilator. This is a mask. 
I do have filters that I have to change. It is a good quality one. At the time, I couldn't buy the 3M ones because of COVID. But anyways, this one works. And I have my Dyson Air Purifier on. When I'm doing my video with you, I'm choosing not to wear it so that I can talk. So, with that being said, please follow your regulations for the resin that you are using. 100% they want you to wear a ventilator of some sort. So, I am putting the whole lot on. Just, oh, it takes out all of those little lines that the, um, the varnish, oh my God, I couldn't even think of what I was putting on it. The liquid varnish had done and it just pops everything. I just love putting resin on top of these. So now we're going to get in play. We're just going to move it around like I did in my other video. Move it around and work it in. You want to massage it. You want to make sure that your canvas is level. And I'm oh, just, just see, and I didn't do an ounce. I did an ounce shy of what they're asking for. And look at the amount. I know there's some missing here, but I'm going to cover it with glass and glitter. I'm not worried in the least, but you want to make sure that you rub it in to the canvas. There's a lot. Oh my goodness. I probably could have got away with even less. All right. Rub it, rub it, rub it. And this actually is where you're probably going to be able to see if it is not taking because of the silicone. Too funny? I don't know if you can hear it, but my cat is using the litter box. Nature is calling. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I hope you enjoyed last Sunday's bling bling video about double heart. I thought that was kind of cute. There we go. We just want to massage it on the edges. Gonna, oh, I'm hoping. Even it out. You don't want it to pool anywhere. All right. Now with that, I'm going to grab my um, torch and give it, I'm going to wipe my hands off here a little bit. I just got a Lysol wipe. Woohoo! That way you don't make a mess of my... Get rid of all these bubbles. pretty cool I'm excited and again with doing this application I'm just getting the sides as well um, if you do run into a little patch where it didn't quite um, silicone did not quite catch and if you're adding glitter and resin on glitter on top like I mean you can just patch it up with the glitter. I'm just going to put a little more in this. But I'm looking here and I don't see any. Because if you, if it's not going to adhere, you'll see it right away. It won't even attempt to stick. Now I've got a piece of dust here. I had a good suggestion. I think it was Colette that said I should put cheesecloth over top of my air vents and it would stop 
me from having um, the dust because it's not I keep saying hair but it's not it's dust and it's hard to see I think we're good there we go one more good more good I caught the side of the and you want to keep it moving you don't want to leave it one spot there I think we're done that looks so pretty we're gonna leave it I'm gonna cover it and we're gonna come back tomorrow and see now I may come and give it another little torch here in a minute because it looks like there's little bubbles there get one more of the piece and I have to get this covered as soon as I can so I don't have any more little little bits that I have to pick out. All right, with that my friends, I'll see you in tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be all dry tomorrow and we'll get our bling on top. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. It's been two days, this is crazy. This one is a long process. And if you want to fast forward, you may fast forward, but lately I've been deciding you're getting the whole thing. If you want to learn from point A to point B, here we go. So this is it, all resined. And again, like I said, there are some little color variations here, but my thoughts were, because where the edge of the umbrella is, I'm going to have drips of glass and glitter I think that'll be cool and then I'll put some on the bottom just because and I'm gonna make sure that it hits here with the glass now the whole process was to see about this um, uh, the silicone do not like working with it so it looked perfect to me but I'm gonna find it there's one where is it? Let me just find it. There's one spot right here. Do you see it? But the whole thing took. Everything is clean. Everything was washed. One spot. That is why I quit using it. Because you think you're clean and then bang. There's always something will bite you in the butt. But with that being said, because of what we're doing today, it won't matter. We are just going to put a piece of bling there so I'm gonna go through this is the bling portion of the video I am I'm hoping this works because I've never put the liquid glass on top of resin I quite enjoy the way the liquid glass holds and stays where I put it as opposed to the resin it'll just <laughs> it'll just take over everything so that's why I'm trying the liquid glass now I personally do not know if it's going to stay, but I'm hoping it will. So this is going to be a trial and error. I will link the liquid glass in the description box. I put mine in a little squeeze bottle and then that way you're good to go. You can do what you want with it. I'm going to bring you down so that you're a little bit more closer. Oh, there we go. I got new glasses and oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time with them. I can hardly see. All right, so my thoughts, which are scary, I'm going to, I'm just gonna put it on to see what it looks like. I'm gonna come here with glass and then just periodically down. But my thoughts are, I don't know how to put on. And then my thoughts were to go up here a little heavier I'm just going to do a whole line. So it covers up all of that nonsense. And then they're going to stand in a puddle, right? I'm going to put it on the edge here. And again, I should have touched all of these things up properly before I, you know, proceeded with it. But I'm a rebel and I like to go. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me. So that's what my thoughts are. I brought out, I've got my crystals here. I don't know if I'm going to use them. I have the two Laura's art glitters. I hate to waste it because they're so beautiful and there's little bits in here. 
and I pulled out my spinet. So we're going to see. I really would like to use the Laura's Art Glitter, but I, like I said, I don't want to waste it. I'm just going to rip this off so I can pour this off here. without scratching. I don't want to scratch the canvas. So with that being said, my other thoughts were I could, I'm going to lose a little bit, but you know what guys, I know this is awful. I have a lot of it. So, okay. Um, my thoughts would, were I could put a drop A drop and then drag it so it looks like an actual drop so we're gonna see all right no time like the present let's get at her and for some reason my little knobbies are off making everything wobbly all right I am just gonna open it up first that helps if it's twisted <laughs> you can open there we go. Perfect. All right, here we go, my friends. I'm just going to put a line on the top. I'm going to put, oops, I'm going to grab a wet one. And I'm just going to wipe it off so that I have a clean line. And I saw a video where the, someone put tape on the end and swirled it around to make a fine tip. So I may try that. I want to lay all this down first and then we're going to go with all the stuff. I'm just going to do a line. And a line. And you know what? If this little bit here shows that uh, I'm content with that. And we're going to just put on the bottom. There. I'm going to make sure we got some here. Dots. There you go. What I might do is just do that. I'm going to come through and put just little dots all, all down here. This I'm going to jag down like I normally do. And we're just going to just dots. side sideways so I can see where I'm putting them and with that being said they will um, I'm just going to spread everything everywhere and then that way it'll um, adhere maybe not be the way you want to do it but it like I said it's all up but just make sure when you're doing if you're going to do little dots make sure you don't have little wiggly lines after if that makes any sense I want to make sure I get that there hopefully it'll stick to that and let me just straight up and down I think is your best bet I'm just looking sideways so I can see. So what I might do is physically put glass on each little piece. Again, I a little bit of a 
wiggly line there. Okay, so with up here, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just kind of widen it out. Try to take it to the edge, kind of make an even line. And I'm gonna bring it down. just gonna try and do like little it's hard to do it with the uh, with it being on the resin we have a lump let me just get a Must be the lump from the edge of the uh, opening part of the. And like I said, I don't want to go too crazy down because you want to keep the effect of the, you know, the 17 steps in this one painting. <laughs> it's just a, something different. I, I um, want to try and keep the channel so that I'm not doing the same thing all the time, which is nice, but variation is nice as well. Okay, so I'm gonna come and try and put a little bit of glass. On the edge. And then I'm going to come in with glitter and fill it up with glitter. trying to hurry. I know my video is an hour already and I apologize, but like I said, I got into quite enjoying giving you the whole thing. I got actual my first comment in a long time about how I should edit everything out and speed stuff up. And it's like, well, no, I want you people to see how you do it. I don't want you to, I find you lose a lot of information and as you see I tend to talk things through as I'm working and it gives you an explanation of what was in my brain why I did that all right I'm just hoping I don't scratch the uh, The resin taking this off that would be my other my only other concern because it is glass and it will scratch so when you're taking this off I'm not sure if I would even brush it I would just shake it off and what comes what comes Now I gotta step on the side just to see where if I've missed any. Mm, there's one and one and one. Okay, I think I am good. Oh, actually, on the edge here cover up that little bit of okay enough of that oh I thought there was red in there but it's reflecting off of my peachy colored top okay Laura I'm gonna use your glitter 
I just hate to use it because I, I, I use so much of it. Um, okay, we're going to do the fine. I'm just getting my fingers in here. I'll let you know the name. This is the Opulence, I'm pretty sure. trying to see. I want to make sure I get the glitter on top of the, the spots that have the, the dots that I've put up. I just want to go heavy on the edging here. because this will dry clear. I just want to make sure I got that edging covered. And now I'll come back and do all the little bits where I've... Having a hard time for it to stick on the actual the dots. There we go. And it's not the glitter, it's just, just the way things are going. Oh shoot. No. Okay, one a little bit more on the top, and then I am going to leave it at that. There, okay. There's a lot there, I'm hoping. All right, I'm gonna leave it. And again, if I need a second coat, I can come back and do a second coat. So, I don't know. Let me put more glitter, more of this down here, just cause I really want that line around the happy couple. And then just in case the glitter didn't stick properly. Not that, it, there, nothing wrong with the glitter. I just didn't want to put a lot because I overkill with the glitter. And we'll do a little bit more on the top. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna leave this and we will be back probably in about four hours because that's the other thing I like about this um, liquid glass. It adheres pretty fast. All right, I will see you guys in a couple hours. Hello, we are back. It is all dry. I'm excited. Now I'm going to flip it your way. I've got a puppy pad upside down to catch all of my glass and glitter. And we're just going to give it a quickie little shake shake. really want to get the glitter off. Especially where the couple is. So I'm going to
awesome. There we go. I'm excited. I think it turned out pretty good. Let me just try and shake a little more of this glitter off. It is pretty. I had a couple of spots that I just loaded the glitter and I just wanted to and go gently because you don't want to scratch the resin in case you get a piece of glass. And there we go. Oh. I'm just gonna just I'm lightly, just lightly going over this. And like I said, I really don't want it on the couple very much. There we go. I am gonna bring you up. <laughs> So you can get a better picture. Look, look at that. Look at that. I'm excited. Well, there you go. I'm sorry the video was long, but I'm hoping you enjoyed it. I am gonna tilt you up so you can see a little bit better, maybe. This way. There. I don't know. I like it. I think it turned out pretty cool. There you go, my friends. Happy Sunday. I hope you all have a wonderful um, rest of your day. If you um, have not yet subscribed, please do. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And um, hit that bell somewhere in there so you can get notifications on my next video. And don't forget to um, check out my Facebook page. It's in the description box. And also don't forget to um, use the discount code for Laura's Art Corner. It is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton, 10%. And if you're interested, there's a PayPal link in the description box as well. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Love you guys. Bye.